Welcome to a new Key Smash Studio video. This is going to be a tutorial over character controllers in 2D, specifically tied to UI elements. This tutorial will consist of a few different parts. This video is going to cover horizontal movement. I'll also do a part on jumping in 2D, as well as crouching in 2D. If this video helps you out, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. To begin, I'm going to go ahead and create a script. This script is going to be our movement handler, and I'm simply going to call it character controller 2D. We'll go ahead and open that up. So there's a few things that we're going to do. We're going to begin with our properties, and we're only going to have two properties for this. We're going to have a boolean, which we'll just call moving, and then we're also going to have an int. And this will be our current direction. And essentially what this is going to be is if the direction equals 1, that will mean that we're facing right. Else if the direction is negative 1, we'll be facing left. So we'll go ahead and initialize those in our start function. So we'll set moving to be false, and we'll set current direction to be 1, because I have my wizard art facing in the right direction. So then we'll go ahead and fill in our update, and this is just going to say if we're moving, then I want this transform to be translating with a new vector 3 and in the x direction, and we'll be moving by time delta time multiplied by a fixed speed of 5 and then we'll have 0 in our y direction and 0 in our x direction. And that's all we'll be doing in our update function. So next we'll create the two functions that we'll be using with our buttons. We're going to we need two functions because we need something that happens when the buttons pushed and something that happens when the buttons released. So we know when to move our character and when to stop moving our character. So the first function we'll do is the function that will be called when it's pushed. And this needs to be public, and then we'll just call it horizontal move. And then it needs to have a parameter of int, and we'll just call it direction. And then inside this, the first thing we want to do is set moving to true. This is just so we know that the button's been pushed and we want our character to move. And then we'll go ahead and create the code for if we're moving right. What we want to do is check if our current direction is less than zero, which means we were already facing the left direction. And then we want to see if the direction that's our parameter is greater than zero, saying we want to move in the right direction. If this is true, we'll go ahead and switch our current direction to equal one. We set our current direction to one, so we know that we want the player to be going in the right direction. And then we're going to go ahead and rotate our player because of the current direction that tells us that our player is facing in the left direction but we want them to now be going in the right. And this will simply just be 0, 0, 0, which will rotate them in the right direction. And then we want to have an else if for our moving left. And what we're going to do here is the opposite. So we'll have our current direction being greater than 0, meaning that we're currently facing right. And the direction that we want to be going in is less than 0, meaning we want to go to the left. So we'll do similar to what we did above. So we'll set our current direction, but this one will equal negative one. And then we'll take our transform rotation and we'll give it a new quaternion, but this one will be of 180 in the y direction. And this will face our player to the left. So that's all of our move functions. So now we need to go ahead and create a function that's called when we release. And this one's a very simple function. It will also be a public void. And we'll just call it horizontal stay. And all we're doing here is saying that moving equals false. And that's the entirety of our character controller for our horizontal movement that we're doing in this video. So we can go ahead and go back to the scene. I already have my character set up. Any art would obviously do. And so we'll go to our character. We'll go ahead and add a rigid body, as we'll need that in later videos. And we'll go ahead and add a collider as well. And then finally, we'll add our new script that we just wrote.
Now what we want to do is create a UI since this character is controlled through button clicking. So we'll go ahead and create a button and we'll just call this left button. And then instead of the text, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an image inside it. And then I'm going to have this image be an arrow. And then we'll rotate this 90 degrees around the Z, and then we'll go ahead and remove the image from the button. And then we want to make sure that our button has a height of 100 and a width of 100. And then we can copy and paste this and just change it to a right button. And then we'll just rotate the image by negative 90. It looks like I rotated the button on the other one, so be sure to rotate the image by 90 and not the button by 90. And then what we'll do is we'll just scoot both of these over into whatever corner, select both of them, and then what we're going to do is add an event trigger, and then we'll add a pointer down and a pointer up and go ahead and add one to both of those and then you'll drag our character into both triggers for the pointer down you want to make sure to select the movement one and since this is our right button we'll put one as the parameter and then for the pointer up you want to make sure to put the horizontal stay function and then we'll just do the same to the left so pointer up pointer down And then since this is up, this is when it's released, so we'll put stay. And this is when the button is clicked down, so we'll put the horizontal move. I put these in the opposite as I did on the other one, but it doesn't really matter as long as you have your up with stay and your down with moving. So now we can go ahead and click play. And then when we click the buttons, you can see that the character moves to the left and the right. I hope this tutorial helped you out. I hope you'll stick around to watch the jumping and the crouching functionality that I'll do in the next few videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you next time.